Hey, what's up everybody? BDL 44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I'm trying to make up my mind how I want to do this because I got to get some stuff from Target for certain, but I also want to take some, if not all of what I was able to get left over and uh, from, from paying off the uh, unit and getting myself some shoes. The same shoes that I've been wanting to purchase. I did more homework on them last night and I'm very certain what shoes I want to purchase now. Much more certain than I was last time and it was the one I tried on, not the others. Because uh, even though the ones that I wanted looked a little better when I did homework on both shoes, the one that I wanted was fit snug and then not meant for a lot of walking and the ones that I tried on were some of the, most, the best reviewed shoes on the planet. <laughs> the vapor maxes so i'm gonna get some black on black on black vapor maxes uh today if i can that's what i'm gonna do um and if not then we'll put it off for another day but my thinking is i don't want to go all the way to hollywood to get those shoes and then walk all the way up the street trying to figure out if i want to keep the shoes i got on now or throw them away because i ain't gonna have the space in my backpack to carry shoe boxes and shoes and then everything I'm gonna purchase from Target. So let me just go to Target now. Grab what I need to grab out of there. The Target that I'm going to has an ATM that's directly connected to uh, EBT's. So I can use the card to get whatever out that I need to get out to purchase the dang shoes, take all that stuff back to the hotel and then free have my free backpack to go purchase the shoes and then come back home after that. It's still only one o'clock, so I got plenty of day left before I actually have to uh, consider the shoe store closing or something like that. So that's what the goal is right now, man. I'm, a, I'm replacing my shoes. <laughs> I'm hell bent on that. I prayed about it a hundred thousand times and I'm not gonna do no Klarna, none of that Klarma, they can go to hell. I'll pay it all in full. Uh, thankful that I'm able to. And um, thankful for my uncle and, and, and all of those, everyone who's been helping me and puts me in this position because I'm not any without them. And you all know that. But uh, these shoes are not to be walked in any further. I got insoles in them, they're cool, but they look like crap. And I got an all to walk out of my knees, man. I really did. I kind of want to throw these away, to be honest with you, and I've only had them for about two months, but they are so discolored. <laughs> uh, they could probably be refurbished, but I have no use for them, and they don't even look black anymore, so it's like, I don't really know what to do with these shoes other than to keep them uh, and walk around places where I'm not trying to be impressive with them on, but at this point, it's like, nah, I don't really need these shoes, man, I really don't. They don't feel all that comfortable to begin with without insoles. So, hey, they're good for looking nice in certain situations. If they're still in shape, if they still look like they're supposed to look, they're good shoes. But once you wear them out and walk on them like I have, uh, and the sunlight and all that, and then stepping in puddles when it's raining, just completely took all the dye out of them. So I, I can't do much with these unless I want some semi-purple brownish looking faded shoes for which I have no use for but they're still in great condition that's the thing if not for the discoloration they're in fantastic condition because I ain't really had them that long and I really have broken them in but breaking them in only holds weight because of the insoles that I had to purchase to make them more or less comfortable so I tell you man I really don't have any purpose for these shoes anymore I got all the walk out of them I needed and the other shoes that I have are vans too actually more comfortable vans for whatever reason at, at a different cut but those i need to throw away even more so because i haven't had those for like five years and they're they starting to talk and all that so it's just time for me to replace my shoes and uh that's what i'm doing man so it would be nice if the shoes store was in this area they got some shoe stores but to be honest with you the average person around here don't wear 13s so they're not really ordering my size in this area. <laughs> it kind of sucks. Like, I wear these big ass size 13 shoes and most people around me wear anywhere between like sevens and like twelves. So if you want your size, you got to get out of this area. That's what I'm finding. 
they sell your size in some shoes that you don't want, but not like the popular stuff. They're not, people don't have feet like that. So that's what's really what it is. I got abnormal feet. Nobody in my family has big feet either. My mom wore nines. I guess that's pretty big for a woman. But my dad wore regular size shoes. All my brothers and sisters wear regular size shoes, even though they have different moms than me. I really don't know where I get my shoe size from. Don't make no sense. But, uh, you know, probably came from somebody way back in the day, genetics that popped up in my life. Because neither one of my parents got big feet. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, that's just what I got to deal with. I've had these size, I've had these shoe size since I was like 13 years old. Like, luckily enough, my shoes, my foot stopped growing at that age, but I already had grown man feet <laughs> had all this time. So, you know, just you always got to pay a little more, too. If you wore a size 11, your shoes are like $30 less. It's pretty damn ridiculous, to be honest with you. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Just got to got to roll with the punches. So that's what it is, man. I'm going to make this move to Target and take care of all this things that I need to purchase in food right now and uh, just try to maintain my lifestyle man just try to maintain I'm thankful that the Lord got me in a new room the new room is big it's the biggest room I think I've been in this room here it's around the corner from the other room connected to the other room in a way uh because I could see when I was in the room that I just checked out of two days ago the window to this room through my window so it's just basically in the same spot and what does that mean that means that same damn bird that's been waking me up every morning at 5 30 you're still gonna be heard just as loud in this room so that's gonna suck for me i thought i had put that past me but nah they put me in the room night next to that room and i woke up at five this morning because of that my body clock is starting to get used to catching waking up before the bird starts that's what's been happening he starts at 5 15 i'm usually up at five <laughs> it's like it's unbelievable how that works it's only been three weeks of dealing with him but he has that bird has effectively changed my entire body clock so this morning i woke up at five thought it was like 8 30 went back to sleep woke up at 6 30 thought it was like nine so i'm like man either time's going slow or this bird has really messed up my sleeping schedule this much and i think it's the latter so I got to deal with him for another three weeks. Some days I actually sleep through his humming, but this particular bird that likes to perch outside of that window, he's the wake everybody up bird. He's the bird that wakes up all the other birds and he's going to chirp until he hears a flock of birds respond to him. That's what I've come to understand about that bird. He's the chief. So he likes to perch where we at and then squeal out into the wild to wake up all the other birds. So he getting up at the crack of damn dawn every day. And he the first one squirking. And he perched right outside that window. It's like, oh my God, yo. <laughs> like, make, it make you think bad thoughts. Like, yo, can I throw something at this bird or something? Shine a light in his eyes, make him not want to be here every morning. Like, it has gotten to a point where it's that bad. It is. And he ain't no regular bird either. He screeches it loud as hell and he has the same repetitive sound. So it's like you know him when you hear him. I'd know him if, I, if he flew to the other side of the earth and I happened to be over there. Because ain't nobody like him. But yeah, that's what I've been dealing with, man. Irritating birds and, and such. So, you know, we'll be dealing with that some more. But at least I'm a little more used to it at this point. I know what time he's waking up. <laughs> and I'm likely going to be up five minutes, ten minutes before he starts every single day he don't take no days off at all so yeah that's, that's something to understand and when she offered me that room i'm like wait a minute it's the same room I'm like no it's the one next door you're gonna be right there it's like damn she had other rooms too but it was like i just didn't feel like telling her no it wasn't like i disliked the room the room is huge it looks nice clean very very spacious so i'm like i'll just take the damn room man my body clock is used to this crap any damn way so yeah that's what it is so another three weeks of birds man three straight three straight tenures of birds waking me up because you know the other room before i got to this last room had birds outside of it too that squawked but not as early as this one gets up no this one's the chief so yeah man 
that's just what it is but um i feel pretty good physically i'm in good feeling good spirits uh been eating sandwiches a lot more lately all this talk about not eating out i can change that up over the last month or so and so we hopefully i can get disciplined again get back to being disciplined stop buying all this food all these sandwiches and mexican food that i've been eating over the last two weeks because it's not like me but i just got tired of eating the same stuff brown rice and, and pasta it gets to a point where I, I get tired of eating that particular meal unlike some of the other meals i was eating when i was first getting on this side of town so i just got to switch it up again and find something that i like um that i don't mind eating because this ain't this ain't my favorite meal that i've been consistently eating uh, and i really have enjoyed all the food i've been eating but that's not the point you know what i mean when you eat out of course it's going to taste good it's just bad on the gut <laughs> but uh yeah man that's pretty much what it is i had some subway yesterday that's what i did love the sandwich but hate the results so hey man we'll see how it goes just got to get back on track that's really what it is i've been off track getting uh getting in these situations where i want to eat different stuff and my body doesn't allow for it i'm allergic to too many things to be thinking that way i can't just eat everything on your menu so yeah man Headed to Target. I should be there in a couple minutes, but uh, I think that's about as much as I want to say for this video. Of course, I encourage everybody to check out all my previous videos. If you're a basketball, Laker, NBA person, I got a predictions for the Pacers and the Celtics series that I made last night that I'm pretty proud of. I enjoyed making that video. And so that's pretty much what I have to say. My name is BDL44. I thank y'all for watching. I'm out.